Remember Star Trek? Captain Kirk needed food, a new tricorder, or even a replacement spaceship part? No problem. He just asked Scotty to whip it up in the replicator. Pure science fiction, right? Back then, it seemed as impossible as traveling faster than light. But guess what? Just like warp drive is still a dream, turning imagination into reality is what humans do best. The idea of creating objects out of thin air has fascinated us for decades. From the Jetsons to Back to the Future, science fiction promised a world where complex objects could be materialized with the push of a button. It seemed like pure fantasy, a distant dream confined to the realms of science fiction writers. But little did we know, the seeds of this revolutionary technology were already being sown. In 1983, an ingenious engineer named Chuck Hull, not quite Scotty, but close, invented a process called stereolithography. This breakthrough, using lasers to solidify liquid plastic, marked the birth of 3D printing as we know it. It was a far cry from replicators, but it was a start. Early 3D printers were expensive, slow, and about as user-friendly as a grumpy Klingon. But just like the Starship Enterprise boldly going where no one had gone before, 3D printing boldly went into factories, labs, and design studios. The technology slowly but surely found its footing. Companies began to see the potential of this incredible tool. Prototyping became faster, cheaper, and more efficient. Manufacturing processes were revolutionized. The once fantastical idea of 3D printing was becoming a reality. The 2000s saw 3D printing technology mature at an astonishing rate. Like a starship shedding its nacelles, prices dropped, speeds increased, and the technology became more accessible. Open source communities popped up sharing designs and pushing the boundaries of what was possible. We printed toys, gadgets, even prosthetic limbs. Suddenly, 3D printers weren't just for big corporations anymore. They were showing up in classrooms, workshops, and even our homes. Remember that scene in Back to the Future 2 where Marty McFly gets a self-lacing pair of Nikes? We're not quite there yet, but with 3D printing, the future of personalized products is closer than we think. Section 4. Printing life itself and beyond. Hold on to your hats because 3D printing is about to get really wild. We're talking bioprinting organs, creating personalized medicine, and even constructing buildings on Earth and beyond. Imagine a future where organ transplant waiting lists are a thing of the past, where homes are printed from sustainable materials, and where lunar bases are built with the help of 3D printing robots. We're not just talking science fiction anymore, folks. Scientists are already using 3D printing to create living tissues, and the construction industry is embracing 3D printing to build faster, cheaper, and more sustainable structures. The potential applications are as limitless as the universe itself. Section 5. The Final Frontier of 3D Printing Just like the universe, the future of 3D printing is full of endless possibilities. Imagine self-repairing spacecraft, printed food for astronauts on long voyages, and even terraforming equipment to make Mars habitable. We're on the cusp of a new era, one where the impossible becomes possible. So, what excites you most about the future of 3D printing? Is it the potential to cure diseases, explore the cosmos, or simply create amazing new things? Whatever it is, one thing is certain, the journey of 3D printing, from science fiction to reality, is just beginning. Before we go, let's test your knowledge with a quick quiz. Here's your question. Which sci-fi show famously featured a replicator that could print anything on command? A. Star Wars B. Star Trek C. The Jetsons D. Back to the Future Drop your answer in the comments, and don't miss our next video, 10 Things You Didn't Know Could Be 3D Printed, where we reveal some of the craziest things people are 3D printing right now, from food to homes and even... Well, you'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned!